What's up guys, Justin Morgan here, Carved Up Vegan Muscle. And today's video, I kind of wanted to follow up on a video I did a little while back on how to do, or common mistakes that I was seeing at the time in front squats. And um, basically in that video I just kind of uh, took some principles and ideas or problematic areas that I saw with people, the things that they have with their wrists that, um, you know, a lot of pe videos would make on, you know, how to fix your wrists, whereas I thought, you know, there was more that you could just simply do by adjusting your uh, grip on the bar and just things like that um, that, you know, people could do that were really easy fixes. Um, but then there's also another aspect where do you even really need to do the front squat? Is it even necessary? And the answer is no. Um, the reason that a lot of people would do the front squat for like Olympic weightlifting is that it's um, usually the limiting factor in the clean. So usually people, once they become proficient at the technique of doing a clean and jerk, they can uh, clean the weight, but they have a difficult time standing up from the bottom. So uh, doing something like the front squat is very specific to that movement and being able to increase the amount of weight that you can stand up with and thereby increasing your clean. The reason that like front or, uh, the reason that strongman competitors and people like that might do the front squat is because it mimics a lot of the front loaded um, uh, motions that they would go through in like loading an atlas stone or um, loading kegs or any kind of loading event that you would see come up. And then just in general it's a very um, athletic movement that can carry over to different sports in different ways. But um, you know a, a big part of the movement is that it builds quad strength or builds quad the quads you know in general. So um, that, that's another good reason that people that are only interested in aesthetics or bodybuilding or something like that might be interested in doing the front squat. But are there other movements that mimic that better that you could use that would be easier for you that would be better for you to use because you would be better at the movements and easier uh, or, or easier to learn them? So, and the answer is yes, yes, there absolutely is. My wife actually does not care to do front squats. Sometimes I put them in just to um, give her something different to do, but um, she's not really good at them compared to her back squat. So if you're not very good at the front squat and you have a difficult time moving enough weight to actually um, overload and challenge the quads or you know the quad muscles in your legs to actually move the weight, then it's probably not going to be a very effective movement for those purposes. So it would be better for you to do something else. And some of the things that I usually put in for her would be um, what hip belt squats where you actually like have a belt on like a trap or a, um, a dip belt and then you actually hang weight off of it or if you have a cable that you can attach to a belt or something like that that would be an ideal movement she doesn't have that where she works um, I think she has tried it here at the house a couple times with things but it's just not something that's easily done for her at work so she usually ends up doing leg press and things like that. So the leg press is a really effective movement at overloading the quads. Hack squats would be a really good one um, to do. Some people have those, um, I think it's SSB is the acronym, but there, it's like a pad that goes out over your um, your traps and it has, the bar goes through it and it sits really high up on your shoulders. So it's, um, you know, that's one thing that would be really good to overload your quads, especially if you're a a low bar squatter and you compete in powerlifting so you usually you know have a low bar position that um, emphasizes different aspects of the leg that would be a really good idea too so those are just some ideas that you know if you're not very good at you doing the front squat it may not be that effective for the purposes of increasing squad strength or increasing the mus muscles of the quads so using some of those other variations might be more effective because the weight that you do on the front squat in relation to your back squat might not actually be enough to actually stimulate the adaptations that you want to stimulate. So just some thoughts for those of you that are interested. You guys take it easy and I'll talk to you next time.